Welcome to Math with Miss Swartz. This will look like a lot of the videos that you have um, for your Math 8 class. This is for anyone also who's interested in learning some pre-algebra concepts. Today we're going to be looking at integer reviews. Um, we're going to look at the first half of integer review today. It should be pretty simple. We should know this, but it's good practice to remind us maybe we've been gone all summer. Maybe we haven't done it in a while, and this will be a great way to get us back into it. Something I need to point out for those new to my classroom who are taking my class, notes do need to be taken. I will be sure to tell you what you need to write down. It is worth five daily points that can be checked by myself or any other teacher in the room. So you need to have something written down, okay? So let's get started, I'm excited. I'm sure that you know a lot about integers, but we're gonna review today specifically addition and subtraction rules. There may be some different ways you learned it. Depending on your teacher last year, you might have learned it when you thought about video games and how, especially with this addition rule that we're looking at, you had some positive fighters and you had some negative fighters and they all had the same strength and power and when when, it, when they get added together when they come together to fight because they have the same strength and power they cancel each other out so we see these ones are canceled out these ones are canceled out so when we add them together when we have different signs, I'm kind of jumping around here, okay, we're going to take the sign with the largest value or absolute value. You may have heard that word. You may have learned it that way. You may have learned same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, which is kind of what we did here with our video game example, okay? So depending on how you learned, you may have some different ways of remembering these, these uh, rules, but Either way, the rules are the same. So if we are adding <clears throat> integers with the same sign, such as 3 plus 3 or negative 2 plus negative 2, we could go back to our video game example. I did a different sign example over here. But if I have three positive 3s and I, they're coming together and they're on the same team, that's going to give us six positives. Same sign, another way of putting that is to add and keep. Okay, if I have two negatives and they're coming together but they're on the same team, why would they fight each other? I'm going to use same sign, add and keep. Okay, I would have four negatives. So either way you learned it, it doesn't really matter. The, the rule is the same. Okay, different sign in the song, same sign, add and keep, different sign subtract but we don't stop there that's just the first part we're subtracting them so some examples we'd have maybe we have negative 3 plus 1 if we subtract 3 minus 1 we would get 2 but how do we know which sign to use that's the question well that's where that video game example might come in handy if these cancel how many do we have left or what do we have more of is what matters so what do we have more of what's the largest absolute value well it's negative in this case so we would have negative 2 as our answer. Another example might be 5 plus negative 2. Okay, if we subtract those, we get 3. What's our bigger sign? That's positive. And there we go. So whether you remember the video game example or the song, same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, take the sign of the larger value, your sum will be exact. It doesn't matter. However you remember it, good to go okay so going along with our addition rules that you need to write down you can write down those examples make sure you write down what we do add and keep subtract and keeping the sign of the larger value I didn't write that myself Make sure you have that down. We will be checking for that. If we go down to subtraction, we don't have a lot of differences. If we know one extra step, we'll be able to complete the subtraction rules as well. The key here is we don't like subtraction. 
We're going to change subtraction to dun 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 addition. It's not that we can't subtract, it just makes our lives easier. Okay? So, some way you may have heard it is we're allergic to subtraction. When you see that subtraction sign, we go ahead and change it, and then we can go back and follow these rules. So everything on this slide needs to be written down, maybe except for the video game examples. Up to you. Okay? So, some examples of subtraction. We have 1 minus 30. Okay? Just an example. I'm going to change the subtraction sign here to addition. Okay? But, something we have yet to talk about. What do we need to do when we change subtraction to addition? We need to change the sign of the next number. So we need to make sure we do this. Okay? Change subtraction to addition. Change the sign. Of the next number. We never change the first number. It's always the number following the subtraction sign that we've changed. Okay, now we can follow the addition rule. So I'm an adding, I can come back up here. I have different signs, so I'm going to subtract 30 minus 1 is 29. And then I have to decide am I going to keep a positive or a negative value? In this case, it would be negative because the negative is larger in the sense that it's a larger absolute value. It's not a larger number, it's a larger absolute value. Some of you may be thinking, well, I've subtracted my whole life. For example, I've done 10 minus 7. Why would I change that to addition? You don't have to, but I want to show you that it works. Okay, what is 10 minus 7? Well, of course, that's 3. But you could also say 10 plus negative 7 by changing subtraction to addition changing the sign of the next number. So 10 plus negative 7, we go back up to our addition rules. There's different signs. We subtract 10 minus 7 is 3, and we keep the sign of the larger value, which is 10. Notice, if I subtract right here, it works. If I change it to addition, it works. That's why we are able to change subtraction to addition and change the sign of the next number. It works. We can do it either way. So we have some more examples on this following page. Okay, anything on this page will be looked for on your notes, so you need to have it written down. I said the only thing that might be an exception is if you did not write the video game items down. That is okay. Okay, we're going to roll through some examples here. So obviously 7 plus 13, that's probably pretty obvious to you, but... What you have to understand is, that is same sign, add, and keep as well. That will give us 20. We add the numbers, we keep our signs of positive. Negative 8 plus negative 5. We have to determine, is it same sign or different sign? I always work through this progression. Well, they're the same sign, negative and negative. So I'm going to add, I got 13, and I'm going to keep my sign at negative. I'm going to jump down to number 5 here. 9 plus negative 10. Now, I don't have same sign anymore. I have different sign. So my different sign says subtract. So I got 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. But now I have to figure out what my sign is going to be. Well, the larger value or the larger absolute value is negative. So I wrote the song over here, same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract, take the sign of the larger value, your sum will be exact. I know I am a great singer. So I want you to try, I want you to not only have those written down, but try three, four, and six there. Have those in your notes for us to check. And we'll jump down to subtraction, so you can pause the video if you need to right now. Subtracting. I'm going to change subtraction to addition. When I do that, I forgot to write in here, change the sign of the next number. So I need to make that a negative 8. So I have 5 plus negative 8. Now I come back up here, follow my integer rules for addition. I have different signs, so I'm going to subtract. That would be 3, and I'm going to keep the larger value, which would be negative. For 2... 
I have 12 minus negative 3. I'm going to change subtraction to addition. When I do that, I'm going to change the sign of the next number. So I have 12 plus positive 3. Now I have the same sign. Add and keep. Nice and easy. That's 15. All right, you can't really see six, so I'm going to have you try three, four, and five as well. You need to have all these examples written on your notes. When you are done with that, you can have it checked, and that is all we have for you today. We will give you your assignment if you have everything you need on your notes. Great job today. We're hoping you remember these integer rules. If you have questions, make sure you ask. Have a great day.